Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, Old School SSTO. Now before the KSP devs back in the day came out with the Rapier engine, a lot of us KSP grandfathers would build our SSTOs with a combination of rockets and jet, jet, bleh, 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 jets, yes. Or if you were like me, it was just plain old rockets. But that's how SSTOs were built nearly 10 years ago. <laughs> Gosh, damn, this game is old. Now, I am working on a how-to SSTO video, kind of a revamp from the one that you've probably already seen, but one of the things about building an SSTO is Delta V. Not only Delta V when you're air breathing engine for your air breathing engine, but also Delta V for your space rocket engine. You want at least 4,000 Delta V for your air breathing engine at 1.0 TWR, although you can do it about 0 0.8, 0 0.7 TWR, but, but you want about 4,000 Delta V for your air breathing engine. And then for your space engine, engine about a thousand or maybe a little over a thousand would be nice but anywhere between a thousand or 1400 delta v for your rocket engine really good mods to have is kerbal engineer redux it gives you the delta v of both uh atmospheric and vacuum as well as rcs aid it gives you a little red ball that shows you where the mass will be when your fuel runs out so you can kind of balance your craft as well as other things but yeah for this video i figured you know it, it's been a while since i've done old school let me go ahead and try it out now if you're wondering why there's wings underneath the engines it's because i kind of wanted to make it a little bit realistic protecting the jet engines on re-entry and now that, I've, now that i think about it i really should have built like a little protection slab underneath of the spike rocket engine as well but that's neither here nor there i realized that in game the jet engines can experience re-entry without melting but you know just for me personally i like to know that stuff is shielded and it feels more realistic Pretty cool thing, made in flight. Everything worked out pretty good. It's kind of a small little shuttle, has a satellite cargo, maybe a small passenger cabin. A little bit nose heavy on re-entry, but other than that, worked pretty well. But anyway, that's all the time I have for today. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you have any ideas for any future videos or if you have any ideas or things that you would do differently for this particular type of SSTO. We also have a membership program if you're interested. If you become a member, you get a cool little emoji and badges and stuff next to your name. Check it out, pretty cool. But anyway, love you all all very much. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye.